will come back. I don't remember too much of four, unfortunately. Uh, yeah. Uh, to be honest, I never even tried three, which was considered uh, the best one. But the uh, but like says, uh, but I want to try it now uh, because I've tried four and the remake one. I wasn't I wasn't so big on four. Just it just felt too quick and all that. Now it like I play the God of War games. I I, I don't like God of War as much as I like Devil May Cry. From what I've seen, Devil May Cry and the Ninja Gun series, they're all hack and slash games, right? Uh, but I'll tell you one thing, uh, I, I, a person i got to give a shout out to, I don't know the person, but uh, he's definitely a person to give a shout out to because he has a YouTube channel and he has these guys helping people with all these games and he beat all, all these games, like he beat Ninja Gun, Ninja Gun Black and Ninja Gun Sigma, all three of those games on Master Ninja. That's a lot of hours and then Ninja Gun 2 for Xbox 360 and Ninja Gun Sigma 2 and then he beat the Out of Devil May Cry is not that from looks of his channel and all that it's an out of hardest difficulty so I, I really got to give a shout out to this one guy he, he goes by the name of Big Benedict I don't know if you ever heard uh, he he sounds like Review Tech USA but yeah he's uh, he's really good at these games nah I was God of War is a very linear game the, the just it does. Uh, I, I played them. The progression feels so damn linear. Uh, no, <laughs> no, completely lost where I was going. Uh, oh yes, I'm looking to get to those stairs. So I'll just have six of them. Yeah, God of War is my least favorite in the hack slash games. Like uh, they, uh, I don't know what I heard, but I heard they got this difficulty mode where you die in one hit. Now, sh you got difficult and you got goddamn stupid. Like, he, uh, take the AVG and Adventures too. They're hardest, uh, I, I, lo I love playing that game. But uh, there's a lot of cheap, the game is built on just a lot of cheap deaths. Now you can get good and not die, but they're hardest, uh, apparently I've been looking through the achievements and they have a YOLO difficulty. Yeah, and then I, re I was reading through uh, some comments and saying, uh, they really should fix the YOLO on that game because apparently you only if you die once you have to start the whole game over from the beginning so you you can go through every level and die on the final level and then start over that that's what I think I may be wrong now Bayonetta I'm interested in it's uh, if I had a if I had a Wii U that is definitely a game I would play because I do like that genre it's a bit of it's a bit repetitive but it's it's definitely enjoyable like, I got no problem with repetitive gameplay if I enjoy the game. Oh, this, this, oh, hold on, now, this puzzle. I had, I had a little hard time with this puzzle last time. I had a harder time with this puzzle than I had with the level 12 voice puzzle. So give me a second. Oh. So let me just play around here for now. So it's only these, it's only these four. So push that up there, push that there. But I also think I had a hard time with these uh, this puzzle too because I didn't think for some reason I was stupid enough in my mind to think that I couldn't walk on these or something like that. Oh no! Uh, yeah, I think I was stupid enough I thought the block would go over these. Yeah, something, something along those lines. I'd say in the long run, if there are bosses that you've uh, based... If there are video game bosses you based this game off, it's not Dark Souls, but more like from those type of games because the hack and slash genre got very tough fucking bosses as well. They're 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 no nothing about it is a walk of the park. Oh wish that down. I'll just I'm just experimenting now. I, I think I'm gonna find this an easier time than I did last time. I already got that feeling.
<laughs> I don't know. I don't think so. Uh, I think I fucked something up. Yeah, I fucked something up. I think I'm gonna have an easier time figuring out this puzzle this time than last time. Uh, what if I... What if I push that up? That over? That over there. Ah, uh, make the same mistakes again from the looks of it. If I push that over there, what the fuck am I doing now? Wait a second. If I just push that. Up there. And then just push that up there. Push that up there. Push that up there, like that. I'll push that up there to there. that down. Push that over there. But now do I have things fucked up for this one? Yes, I do, don't I? Yes. I'm gonna push that up there. Push that there. Get that up there. Say if I push uh, Let me try something like this I'll push that over here I'll push that. Oh, fuck! Yeah, I won't be talking much there now because, well, the only time you'll hear from me now is just figuring this out because. I'll push that up there. Push that there. What was I doing? Oh, yeah, push that up there. Uh, push that up there. Okay. I should be able to push that over there. Push that up there. Push that over there. In theory. Should push that down there. Before I make any mistakes, I'll push. Uh, then over here, and I'll push that there, down, left, uh, Yeah, I can. 
and save myself. No, I fucked up. So, up there, like that. Do the same thing over again, just because. That over here. Push that over here. Push that there. Push that up there. I think I got it. Perfect. Yeah, a lot quicker this time. Evan, would you believe that the last time I got you this dungeon on normal mode, I got you without the map? No. So that's, that's taken care of. Now, what's another thing I want to do with the blue? Uh, skippy boo, skippy ba, skippy here. That's it. Was sure that boss I thought I was gonna get the map now. Yeah, I wanna get up there. Oh god damn it. Oh I could just do that, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Yeah, so you just a random thing, I do own a copy of uh, Dark Souls, but and I'm eventually going to uh, take it up for the challenge because people says it's hard. So I'm curious about this all about, and I will all be playing it. Uh, even though I own it, I've only just played it with a friend just for like a few minutes. But I'll eventually get into it. But uh, we've got a a big buckle list of things to play. It's unfucking believable. <laughs> it's just like you can't get to it yet. And it's no surprise I'm getting through this dungeon quicker this time. <laughs> that's what happens. Oh, fuck. No, it's all. Yeah, that's right. Fuck. Fuck, fuck. Fuck. No! No, no!
Yeah, so just on a random note too, I don't I don't drink nearly as much as I used to. Like I usually just I usually only drink on the weekends. And uh Yeah, I usually only drink on the weekends and he, and and before when the weekend came, I would have no trouble getting through like eight or nine beer like in one night. Sure, I've gone it on these streams. Uh, you see me like just down on the bear, but now, well, tonight I'm drinking tonight. How many beers do I have? One. No, actually, I didn't even finish this one beer yet. <laughs> but I really come back when my uncle died because he died of cancer, and he was a, uh, he was a huge alcoholic, and you get cancer from alcohol. So it just made me think about. Just, uh, it makes you think. So yeah. So no, I, I haven't been drinking nearly as much, and I feel and I just would prefer to save a few dollars too. You know, like I'm building I'm building a gaming PC, so it's easier to build a gaming PC when you're not wasting your money. So no, I haven't been drink, and also I, I am a father. I got a young one, and it's very even though I'm not like even though I'm only drinking after he's gone to bed. Well. Before I had trouble getting him, to, getting him to bed, so I was drinking drink while he was up past his bedtime on the end, but nah, it's just, no, oh. just cutting back, I'm uh, That's dumb. I got two keys. I, sh I should check what that owl said. How many keys I need? Six, isn't it? Well, hell. What am I doing? I just, I can just look here. One, two, Oh, that's not going to work. I believe there's somewhere along the lines. I think the path requires six keys. Now, let's see what I need for blue here. Okay, so I could still got to go in there. Okay, I got to find those stairs. I got to be gray and find those stairs so I can solve that puzzle. I've been trying to slip a lot more now that I got the map. I, th I think that's why I haven't, one of the reasons why I haven't played so long, just the thought of doing this level again was daunting because it just took forever for me to get through before. But, yeah, I didn't have a map. That, ex that would explain a lot. Progression this time is a lot quicker. Hell, I think, I think the longest dungeon I've been in this run is, oh yeah, never mind. Well, it's, it's either between the ice dungeon or level eight. I spent a long time in both of those dungeons. The water dungeon, man, I just flew through that one. I remember I remember that. That was the quick that was surprisingly one of the quickest dungeons. The, the, the water dungeon was just as quick as the earlier dungeons. 
now. Ah, uh, is it those stairs? Is it? I got a feeling that it is. Oh God. Lately, I've been having an easier time getting into bed. For a little while, for a little while going on here, it was getting really difficult, but lately I've been doing, uh, doing what a lot of parents do, count to five. I count to five, and it seems to work really well for, uh, for him. He seems to have no trouble listening. Uh... Puzzle is a lot like those puzzles where you steps on the switches. Nice! 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 Wait a second, so how do I get up here when it's blue? Well, I never really checked to see what was there when it was blue. Uh, I was about that one of these, you gotta take it backwards. Yes, you do. You definitely do. You gotta take these stairs and go up. Uh, I can get that switch now. Damn it, I'm going for it. Since I'm still in the gray area. But did I do that right? Doesn't matter. We're flying through stuff today. It feels like I'm flying through it. it. May not be. What the hell am I doing wrong now? I just... That's weird. How did I fuck that up? Weird.
got spot key. That's three keys. Money is filled. After I do this little trick over here, I better uh, start spinning some of that. Should have went down that hole just to see what was there, but fuck it. So what could I spend money on? Super bombs. Okay. Hey, super bombs could a hole. If I like, if I had to buy other things, no. Now I'm kind of starting to miss uh, Champions or Arena, though. Ah, no, no, no. Oh shoot, no, that's not gonna work. Southern Rim Drive. Plus bounce. 16. I had 13, which means that's my max. Anyways, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Now let's continue. So 16 bombs, so that means I can hold four super bombs, I'm guessing. Because I'm thinking it's uh, divided by four. Stand. It's going to be hard. <laughs> Just thinking about it now is making my mind bad. <laughs> now I don't even remember what items that I got in this journey. Oh, oh my god, what the, the fuck? Spent 30 on bombs when I didn't have to. with money. Oh, 
what he won't even get back to magic? What the hell? Wait, I can't go back to that tree? Wait, no. I can't go back to that statue, can I? Yes, I can. So Moosh ended up beating this boss by getting, uh, exploding a glitch or something that allowed him to carry six bombs. Wait, Evan, uh, I don't know if you're still there. Well, the quest, should I update this quest? <laughs> I, just, I just realized there now, I'm still using a ver- oh shit, I should just go on. I'm still using a version of the quest that I'm implying that- this version must be over a year old. <laughs> now I'll save for there. Like, is there what benefits would I have to update the quest there now? Like, I, I don't know what you've done, or or if there's anything that I should uh, like really update for. Because again, like you think after a year that you would have a lot of updates, right? Okay, well, there you go. <laughs> okay. So, I need ice. And then I need to take my ice. Take a long, that long path. So, let's see. Just take this way up to, to, sh to make this a short path of dice. <laughs> That's unfortunate. I think it goes in phases. And how much replay value Quest has. Well, take for example, it was only like a few months ago I played uh, Hero of Dreams, and look how many years that's been out. And I'm gonna probably play Heroes of Dr Hero of Dreams again, so I can have, so I can have it on my YouTube channel. One of my biggest regrets is playing through Hero of Dreams and not uh, and not uh, recording it. But uh, what was uh, what was my story back then? Well, there was, there was a time I wasn't recording. Like I wasn't recording this quiz. I didn't record uh, in the Last Kingdom of Man, Blood God. I wasn't recording any quiz. Oh yeah, I think I think it was because I was on my mother's computer for some time. Because uh, I had no computer. Uh, I had I moved out with mother right quick with my son because of personal things. Uh, uh, well, we have moved out of the city, and me and, and me and my son lived with my mother for a month, and then I moved in, and then I moved to my old place. Uh, but then, even after that, I was playing the Hero of Dreams. Oh no, I started Hero of Dreams on her computer. That's why, because I was there saying I remember playing Hero of Dreams on this laptop, but no, I started on hers. Yeah, I'll get the so now. Oh shoot, yes, this is Do I have to go to those stairs and go yes, that's that's what I gotta do, I think. Because I remember it's now. I can't go up those stairs. So I think this is what I gotta do.
this quest here, holy fuck, this quest here is one of my favorite quests, and I, I, I would, I would put this quest on legendary status too, and there's, there's a lot of people, uh, how, how do I put it this way, I find the people who criticize this quest, they did sound honest, they said, they seem to be sharing their honest opinion of what they don't like about this quest. Well, it's just strange things. It's like, okay, it it doesn't sound like they're trolling. It sounds like they're being legitimately real. But their reason sounds like retarded. <laughs> to me, I hate to... Oh, shoot, I can't... So wait, how am I getting in there? Oh, Jesus Christ, I'm not. Uh... So what's the path? Oh yes, those stairs there, that's right. So, where's those stairs there? Up there. Yeah. So, that stairs up there. Let's see where that is on this map. That must be it there. Oh no, yeah, that's certainly it. What? what? Just downright fucking confused now. I gotta hold on. Let me let me look. Fuck off. Last all isn't bad, but uh, it has. It, I will say like. I'll tell you, the first quarter of Last All blew me away. It, uh, uh, well, playing the first quarter, I was blown away. It's like, wow. And then the first half, it, it, well, like, the first half of the game, blown away. Then once you reach the castle, it all started going downhill from there. The, the only shining moment that quest had after the castle was the final boss. The final boss wasn't bad. Uh, it, was, it was well done. The fucking third boss. That was fucking. That was a fucking joke, man. Uh, okay. I see. I see. The stairs there. So where's those stairs? Where the fuck is those stairs? The hell? Those stairs? Yeah, that's right. Wait, I haven't been up those stairs yet. What? No. I haven't been up those for No, I had to. Okay, that's those stairs there. So and this game. Okay, and those stairs. So this Oh but yes, look at that! The fuck. Can you really take any rating seriously? Like I've been watching a lot of movies from the IMDB 250, and you could tell uh, I'll tell I'll tell you firsthand, half of those movies are legitimate, well-designed movies. The other half of movies is Dark Knight. And, uh, and Dark Knight and, you know, stuff like that. And, uh, The Avengers and stuff like that. Movies based on pure hype alone. Uh, so... I'm either going to trust in the red. I'm going to trust in the red because I... In the room that I'm going to right now, there are red switches. I might be better off uh, going gray, but I'm going to trust in the red. And, uh, and excuse my choice of words. <laughs> Anyone who doesn't know this quest would understand what the fuck I'm talking about. I wouldn't I would go gray, but I'm going to go red. <laughs> So, the jest, uh, I'm, I'm finally, 
I'm on my sharing, well, not partly because I only just recorded the other day, but I'm uploading my videos of uh, the Contra 3 on hard uh, with three lives selected and no continues. So if you, I don't know if you were curious, I'm watching that, but the first part is up. It's on my YouTube channel. And just to announce, I don't know if you noticed yet, but I got a new uh, title screen. And I'm very, very proud of it, even though it's just a picture. Fuck you! I found a picture on DeviantArt, I asked, uh, asked for his permission to use his picture, he said yes, and now I got a title screen for my, uh, for my Let's Plays. Now it's only the first part, which means it's only the first two levels, and what can I say, it's like a ten minute video, it's not really much, but it's, like I said, it's, uh, uh, I will have them all up soon, but I, I usually, since I'm back, I usually upload the video once every two days, to give people time to see them, but since I'm backed up on a lot of videos, I'm, I'm sharing them once a day. Now, because I've uh, been using a different program to make my videos, not at I grew up with that game. Like, uh, there's a lot of games that I, I can beat. Like, I could beat that's like legendary difficulty status because of uh, Jamie would say kind of legendary difficulty status, like Battletoads, Ninja Guy, Castlevania, stuff like that uh, for NES and. A lot of, like Ninja Gun Black on Master Ninja and all that, but these are just my accomplishments of a few years ago. I have, uh, I I feel great to say that Contra 3 was a whole lifetime thing. I had this game ever since I was young, and it was always one of my favorite games. I grew up with Contra 3, so my skills with that isn't uh, isn't earned. It was progressed. It it developed with me, if that makes any sense. Uh, okay, so where where am I going again? Uh, oh yeah, these stairs that I have not been in yet. I don't blame you having a hard time finishing that on hard. The first time I finished that on hard was uh, a game genie uh, on Limited Lives with a, fr uh, with a friend with all Limited Nukes. <laughs> and then when the, the first time I ever beat the game legit was with me and another friend who were, who were very dedicated. Then I, then I learned to beat it on my own. And now I'm at the point there now I can beat it with three lives with no continue. So again, it was with the game was with, with me my whole uh, da, 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 my entire life. And okay, so if I had gray, okay, that's the beginning of the lock pad. Uh, yes, no, yes, no. I don't know because there's a key there, but it looks like that's. The path looks like that's the path. That is certainly the path. The path to the boss. So, which means that's odd. The only thing I'm doing out here. Why is it that I'm unlocking that? Play who's help from trivial no. I I I wanna say another thing too, there's a lot of games that are hard on NES that don't have legendary status. In other words, there's popular hard and not so popular hard. There's some games that's unbelievably hard, but no one it's never talked about. Because it's never talked about, no one no one cares. The the ones that are popular hard is always Ninja Gun, Castlevania, and Battletoads. I'm pretty sure, uh, and what, uh, Silver Surfer, and, uh, yeah, Silver Surfer got legendary sense. So always those games, but I guarantee you there's a lot of games that are not popular, not known, that are a lot harder than every name I just listed them all. Oh, Congressman Birdie, I don't know about now, but when I was young, I couldn't beat that game. Uh, the hard, I actually got stuck on the fucking Gatling gun part. 
I couldn't beat the Gatling Gun part. Now, granted, I didn't have that much patience back then. I just lost patience for it. And I think the game, yeah, the game was a rental, so I had to take it back. But yeah, uh, that's that's the, that's the part that got me. Before. Uh, now, if I owned the game and had time with it, yeah, but the Gatling Gun part got me, where you had to shoot the fucking teddy bears. I I beat Ghosts and Goblins, but uh, like uh, more than two runs, third run actually. But I also got a video of me beating Ghosts and Goblins on my YouTube channel. But surprisingly, I even though I beat Ghosts and Goblins, I couldn't beat uh, Super Ghouls and Ghosts. I did that uh, on my channel too, and and that that. Okay. Yeah, that uh, that that didn't end well. It uh, ended up with me trying, trying two hours to beat the final level and still getting nowhere with it. Moosh watched me. Uh, I think Moosh and just and Jamie and all three of them watched me. Yeah. Okay, I got it now. So that was worth doing. So that's that's the beginning of the super long path that I gotta do. Holy fuck! I s next Halloween I still gotta try it. But holy fuck, is that ever annoying? That last level. In the tank. Follow the tank around this tower, covering. What, ghosts and goblins? Uh, I know that. Wait now. Okay, that's that's. I gotta get to that room. So I don't know if that's. Let's go. To, I don't know if that's the one with the key, but uh, I gotta get to that room anyways. Oh, I get there now. Fucking cheap shot bastard. Oh, then the stick. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Is Conqueror's bad for. I, I don't know what my thoughts are, Conqueror's bad for today, because it seemed like they were going. seemed like they were making a childish game, just like Banjo Kazooie and Donkey Kong. Uh, that, uh, I'm not going to call it the Magic Kazooie, and I'm not going to take the term childish lately, because it's not childish, it's meant for kids, but uh, like adults can enjoy too, but it just seemed like those games that were meant for kids, right? But then uh, Conker's Bad Fur Day, just what the hell was, it seems like Jesus, everyone got on the fucking, uh, on the fucking ass of that night or something, and just, uh, and I was like, holy fuck, we just ruined our game. It's like, well, let's release it the way it is, boys! Get it out there! <laughs> because Conker was in Diddy well, fuck, was in Diddy Kong's Racing as a cartoony children's character, so I was surprised that it, and like the whole shit now all you had to do is just change it to chocolate. If you think about it, uh, it looked like it was originally designed to be a chocolate level. But then uh, they brought this all adult theme to it and suddenly it's shit. <laughs> you could easily make that change so quickly. So, anyways. But yeah, uh... But, uh... The whole war scene on the beach was... Was 100% intentional. There's no other way about it. You can't... There was no way you could aim that at kids and change it. There's... Like, that whole sequence, there, there was no way. It, it was... It was designed for adults right from the get-go. <laughs> But I found there was a lot of a lot of areas that seemed like it was still aimed for kids, but they just they just changed it. Like uh, it seemed like it was a last minute thing. Okay, that makes sense.
Oh yes, that's right. Wait, I don't I don't ever aim at those over there. I just realized that. I don't ever aim at those. I always get these down there. Uh, shit, it doesn't even matter. Oh, yes, I do aim at that. Okay, that's... that's a lie. That one. Fuck. It was a cool scene, though. Was it, uh, was it based on a movie, uh, Saving Private Ryan? I think that's still the name of the movie. I like rooms like that, actually. Now. Yeah, I, I should get back into that game just just to say that I beat it. Oh, perfect. I forgot you could stop these. You got the uh, obsidian ring. Your items could draw on a stark energy, reducing the amount of magic use. Perfect. And now, uh, with that, I'll be right back. <laughs> 